Hello and welcome to the 11th lesson in the U.S. Citizenship Preparation class. Believe it or not, after today, you will have learned all 100 civics questions. Yay! Hopefully you have a big stack of flashcards. First, I want to touch briefly on what happens directly after submitting your application. After you filed almost any application or petition, USCIS will respond by mailing you a form I-797C Notice of Action. This form is commonly known as a receipt letter because, as you can see here, it has a receipt number on it. And for applicants who have incorrectly filed or included the wrong payment, the receipt letter might indicate that um, USCIS has rejected your case and you would need to refile. And if you prepared the form correctly and followed the USCIS directions carefully, the receipt letter will indicate that they have accepted your case. And once the form has been accepted, USCIS will begin reviewing your case. So the receipt letter contains a unique 13-digit receipt number, also known as a case number. So it's a very important number to help you track the progress of your case or identify a particular immigration filing. So often if you call them or if you're corresponding with them or you need to talk to a lawyer they might ask you for this number so just keep it handy know that it's important keep all your paperwork organized and together in a file I also want to mention quickly about how to track your case online right this little doodad the online case status is the page where you can type your receipt number in and find out the status of your case now the online system will often update before you receive the letter in the mail, right? So it's a good idea to keep an eye here. You can also check your online account. And so, so that is the USCIS case status page. Well, let's talk about our last civics lesson. And this is going to be on the US geography and US holidays. A couple keywords here, Alaska. Alaska is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state it's way up there in the northwest off of Canada. Alaska. Alaska is more than twice the size of Texas. Hey, don't tell people from Texas because they like to think they are the biggest state. But Alaska is the biggest state. All right, Canada. Canada is the country to the north of the United States. You can see here, to the north of the United States, we have all of Canada. Up there is Alaska, remember? Okay, so Canada, the northern border of the U.S. stretches for more than 5,000 miles from Maine in the east to Alaska in the west. So Alaska, remember, I'm going to put it here, but it's all the way up there off of Canada, right? And there are 13 states that border the official boundary with Canada. They are Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota, I'm sorry, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Washington, and Alaska. Hey, okay, those are the states that border our northern, um, the northern country of Canada. Mexico. Mexico is the country to the south of the United States, right? South of the United States is Mexico. And here we have the states that border Mexico. This border between the US and Mexico is about 1,900 miles long and spans four US states. The US established the border with Mexico after the Mexican-American War 
And the U.S. border with Mexico is one of the busiest international borders in the world. Okay, and the states that border Mexico are California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Okay, Texas. Now, New York City. New York City is the first capital, or was, I'm sorry, New York City was the first capital of the United States. There it is on the East Coast. When the Constitution established our nation, the capital of the U.S. was in New York City. Now, remember that New York City is a part of New York State. The whole state of New York is quite big. It extends all the way to Canada. Okay? New York City is this smaller part of the state all the way down here, located down here near the Atlantic Ocean and the Hudson River. People say New York and they always think New York City, but remember, New York is a big state there, okay? Okay, so New York City is here and if we look closely at New York City, you can see right here where the Statue of Liberty is located on Liberty Island in the New York Harbor. Okay, the Statue of Liberty. Now, the Statue of Liberty is a well-known symbol of the United States, right? The Statue of Liberty became a symbol of immigration because it was located next to the first entry point for many immigrants during the, the initial waves of immigration. The Statue of Liberty was the first thing new immigrants saw when, as they approached New York Harbor to come into America. Lady Liberty, as she's known, is 300, 305 feet tall. Okay. It is on that island in New York Harbor, and France gave the statue to the United States as a gift of friendship. And it shows a woman escaping the chains of tyranny. She's holding a torch symbolizing liberty and a tablet with the date July 4th, 1776. And it's written in Roman numerals, July 4th, 1776. And you all remember that that is the date the Declaration of Independence was adopted, July 4th, 1776. Very good. Now, where's the capital? The capital of the U.S. moved from New York to Philadelphia, briefly, to its now permanent home in Washington, D.C. And George Washington chose a location along the Potomac River between Maryland and Virginia. Washington, D.C. is the nation's capital, and it is where the federal government conducts its business. Now, each state, each state, remember, 50 states, each state or territory has its own capital. The state capital is where the state government conducts its business. Usually the governor lives in the state's capital city. So do you know the capital of your state? Because you do need to know that, okay? If you need help, let us know. Okay, now the U.S. has borders on two oceans. On the west coast, we have the Pacific Ocean. And on the east coast, we have the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. The major rivers of the U.S., we have several major rivers in the U.S., and the two longest rivers in the United States are the Missouri and the Mississippi. Now, these rivers are an important part of the expansion of the United States and have been used for many things such as trade, food, drinking water, major shipping routes, exploration, 
okay you can see um, how the how the Mississippi and the Missouri River run through this section of the United States which we will look here oh wow this section looks familiar right okay this is known as the Louisiana Territory the Louisiana Territory was a large area west of the Mississippi so the Mississippi River runs like right along this area here and so this whole area is the Louisiana Territory and in 1803 the United States bought this whole area from France for 15 million dollars it was the largest acquisition of land in American history so farmers could now ship their products down the Mississippi River without having to ask permission from other countries and this was also important because the city of New Orleans down here in Louisiana was a major shipping port, right? So they'd be able to use this port, then go up right up the Mississippi and the Missouri and get their goods where they need to go. Okay, the Louisiana Purchase actually doubled the size of the United States and it expanded the country westward the Louisiana Territory. Continuing on, there are five U.S. territory. We have Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, the Northern Mariana Islands, Guam, American Samoa. Now, a U.S. territory is a partially self-governing piece of land under the authority of the U.S. government. U.S. territories are not states, but they do have representation in Congress. So the people who live in American Samoa are considered U.S. nationals, and the people in the other four territories are considered U.S. citizens. So the people in Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Northern Mariana Islands and Guam are U.S. citizens. Okay. Oh my goodness, we have our final civic slide about U.S. holidays. What? Okay, many Americans celebrate national or federal holidays, right? So these are different than uh, your maybe your customs or your religious holidays or your cultural holidays. These are federal or national holidays, and these holidays often honor people or events in our American history or heritage. Typically, federal offices are closed on these holidays, but states can decide whether or not to celebrate the holiday. Okay, remember states' rights. Okay. All right, so we have these New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. You will need to name two holidays, any two of those, okay? Ah, so now for the questions, the final 12 civics questions. We ready? Yes, of course. What is the capital of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. What is the capital of your state? What is the capital of your state? Well, that depends on your state right okay let us know if you can't find it what ocean is on the east coast of the United States what ocean is on the east coast of the United States that's the Atlantic Ocean Atlantic and then what ocean is on the west coast west coast of the United States that's the Pacific Ocean Pacific Ocean 
Name one state that borders Canada. Name one, just one state that borders Canada. Any one of these. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Washington, Alaska. Just one. Name one state that borders Mexico. Just one. Name one state that borders Mexico. California, Arizona, New Mexico, or Texas. One of those. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. You can say the Missouri River or the Mississippi River. Missouri or Mississippi. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Where is the Statue of Liberty? It is in New York Harbor or Liberty Island or you can just say New York. <laughs> What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? That was the Louisiana Territory. You can also say Louisiana. Name one U.S. territory. Name one U.S. territory. Any one of these? Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, or Guam. Name two national U.S. holidays. Now here you're going to name two two national U.S. holidays, and that is New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Two of those. Ooh. And last question here. When do we celebrate Independence Day? When do we celebrate Independence Day? We celebrate Independence Day on July 4th. Right? Many people call that the 4th of July. July 4th. Lots of fireworks. Now, a couple of reading and writing sentences before we finish. Let's try reading this. What country is south of the U.S.? What country is south of the U.S.? Very good. Now try writing. Mexico is south of the United States. Mexico is south of the United States. And here it is. Mexico is south of the United States. Let's read this one. What country is north of the U.S.? What country is north of the U.S.? And let's write Canada is north of the United States. Canada is north of the United States. And that will look like this. Please read. When is Memorial Day? When is Memorial Day? And you'll write Memorial Day is in May. 
Memorial Day is in May. And that will look like that. Next one. Please read. When is Thanksgiving? When is Thanksgiving? And please write. Thanksgiving is in November. Thanksgiving is in November. And that will look like that. Thanksgiving is in November. And that's it for class number 11. Please join us for class number 12 to continue and finish your lessons. We are almost there, people. If you click on that subscribe button above, you will get the next lesson delivered right to your inbox. Let us know if you have any questions and we will try to get those answers to you. Thank you all once again for watching. Keep studying and stay well.